Hey guys, welcome back to another serving of food for thought. Of course, not everything in the reading will resonate, so take what does and leave the rest. However, if this resonates, or you just so happen to like this reading, let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. So let's jump right in, you guys, Holy Spirit. What is the message here for the collective energies? What are the cards here that best represent the reading? Someone feels alone because they have gained a bad reputation. They feel like you're too busy winning to help them through a struggle or a heavy load of bad karma. This is someone who feels like you're fed up. You're fed up with the changes and you're no longer waiting. You're no longer waiting for someone who avoided you or feel weak to some type of distraction. As I said before, this is someone who has fell victim to their bad reputation. And I feel this energy is in a dark space watching you win. Hmm. This is someone you are fed up with giving chances to. No longer wanting to hear what they have to say. Because it hasn't changed. Hmm. You gotta feel whatever choices they have made when it comes to you was definitely the wrong choice. This is someone who is going through a heavy load of karma and moving in silence because of all of the changes. Now they're reflecting on the fact that they played petty games or made you wait. Now they could be reflecting. Reflecting on what was not given. This is someone who is regretting the fact that they breadcrumbed you. They didn't give you what you needed or didn't part hmm, with their finances. This is someone who was being very, um, what's the word, stingy. <laughs> this energy was not wanting to put out, yet this, always, this energy was always receiving and taking in. This is someone who abused their power, their position. Causing you to no longer be interested in helping or compromising. For many of you, this could be a situation regarding family issues or close bonds. Please take it how it resonates. But someone was in a position to cause some type of friction, war, competition, an argument. This is someone who has a lot of bad habits and tactics. Just to get their way. Hmm. Now this energy is feeling a sense of rejection. Now that you have turned your back. Or you're doing something different. This is something that they didn't expect. Hmm. Now they could be digging something up or trying to. But I feel this could be just somewhat of a scare tactic. Just, just to confuse you. Yet I feel whatever they're trying to do is only confusing themselves because they're the only ones trying to make an offer here. This is someone who caused you a lot of pain, yet this energy wants you back. But this energy feels like you're acting cold. Your heart is cold when it comes to opening up to them. And they could be giving a lot of compliments or trying to receive your, your energy fishing for your energy in some type of way yet I feel you don't trust them in the same way that you used to I feel this is someone you can't fully trust because there is a lot of secrets and competition there's a lot of tension when it comes to this energy that you now see as a karmic or a very toxic energy for many of you you have your eye on this energy who is now haunted knowing that something is overdone overplayed Wanting to offer you something, but feeling they're going to have to work, force their way in. This is someone who knows that you won't be happy when you see them. Whether that is just because of what has been done or undone, this energy knows that they may not be welcome. This energy is coming out as mentally, spiritually, or financially bankrupt. Someone who has run, ran from you in the past. Someone you have had to dust off in a way. 
and still move forward. This is someone who is wanting to make an offer. Cloud chasing energy. Someone who is saying anything, does anything just to have their way. But I feel something is about to trigger their energy. Because this energy feels mentally caged. I feel like this energy is receiving some type of paranoia, anxiety. This energy is unable to sleep because they are living a nightmare. Because they gave into some type of groupy energy. False energy of a wolf in sheep's clothing. Let's get some more verification of that. But I feel someone regrets being a bully. Cyber bullying you or pushing you out purposely. Now this energy could be making fake accounts or creating some type of mirage to get closer to you. This is someone who has a lot of fake energy, smiling when they're completely miserable, unhappy energy who has had a very harsh death with their ego. Someone who was holding a grudge towards you is now wanting to release the anxiety or the resentment. This is someone who is realizing they can't stop you because you're still stepping into your power. You're still making changes without them and they're just stuck in their heads. They're stuck in their head because they know they made these choices against you for no reason. For many of you, it was all just a flex. A flex that you're not even bothered about. I feel this energy has done so much to you. You're no longer affected. You're no longer affected and this energy is all in their head about it. This energy knows that you're wanting a fresh start. A, re a fresh start from their toxic energy or their toxic ways. And they're regretting the fact that they didn't look closer. Because now they're broke and broken. This energy is now feeling blocked from your energy because they were irritated by your light. Hmm. For many of you, your light irritated their demons, and this is why they were always they were always feeding off of you. Feeding off of your creativity, stealing your ideas, copying you in some type of way. Now this energy is wanting to come back and give you some type of offer. Kiss your ass. But I feel something isn't the same. As I said before, it's the same old thing, different day. Now, something is running through their mind. Something that cannot be explained. I feel this could be unexplainable feelings or emotions. Something that is deeply tied to you. But this energy is definitely sitting in a space of regret. A space of regret that they've never felt before. Hmm. I feel like this is someone who is wanting a, a fresh start with you, but they feel like you're looking to have a fresh start or a breakthrough somewhere else in a different direction that doesn't include them, which is starting to be more of a problem for them than it is for you. But I feel this is more of a problem than they thought it would be. This is someone who didn't think they would want you back, not as much as they do, or this energy thought that you would never release them or let them go. They regret pulling some type of strategy on you that backfired. Because there is deep changes here that they can't understand or even explain. I feel this is someone who has taken a lot from you emotionally, physically, even financially. Please take it how it resonates. But this energy is coming out as a wolf in sheep's clothing. Someone you no longer trust, not in the way that you used to. Now this energy is all in their head about threatening you because they know they were tripping. Hmm. Now this energy is wanting to make an offer that you may receive or perceive as dirty. As I said before, this is someone who has always made these changes or tried to apologize in some type of way, but they have never truly changed, not effectively, because they're still creating scenes and creating drama in their life as well as yours this is someone who feels like you're moving moving forward without them or moving physically please take it how it resonates but you definitely dodged a bullet and they know it and you know it too if you haven't stepped into that energy you will come to know that because you're about to step into a, another sense of happiness another space in life this energy is definitely regretting that energy of 
throwing something away with you because now something is lost. You could be running away and they're definitely in regret of that. This is an energy who is now second guessing their choices, their mistakes after realizing something is out of control or out of their hands as whatever they have done to the bond or this connection is the very reason they lost you. This energy lost out, they lost you because they were begging or they were being stingy, taking what they could but never giving in to this connection. I feel that you always poured into their cup, but this energy was always in the energy of receiving yet never giving in. But I feel that it's something you have never forgotten, which may be the very reason you're no longer threatened and you're running. Let's get some more energy here, Holy Spirit. What is the message here for the collective energies? With the cards here. Yeah, someone's having some trouble here when it comes to their finances, when it comes to their stability. Someone had something repo taken away. Someone regrets what they did to family, what they did for money. Now they're trying to dig something up. Dig something up emotionally, physically, financially. Something is definitely lost for good. They're in deep regret. Someone is dealing with a lot of karma. Wanting to make an offer that you perceive as dirty. This energy feels like you're running. Your heart is cold. And they are trying to place the blame on you. I feel this is a very reason you're running from this energy. They're always playing these games of who did it and what for. You're not playing these energy games and you could be hiding. Hmm. Wow. You could be hiding after this energy was always missing in action. Because now you're moving on. I feel like you're moving on in a way that they didn't see coming. They didn't expect this. And they're hiding or missing in action because they know their life is a lie. They're a lie. Hmm. Always talking about what they could give, yet this energy was never giving anything. Giving anything but their selfish ways and attitude. Hmm. But I feel it's going to be a very bitter pill to swallow to watch you win. Because I feel this is your season. Hmm. Someone is about to watch you win in a very big way. Hmm. For many of you, this is someone who abused their power and they know they should have made better choices. Hmm. Because now you could be blocking their negative energy and they know they're curious. They're curious about you. They're upset at the fact that they're being ignored or blocked from you. This is someone who is curious about your energy. Curious about you, but you see them as an imposter. This is someone who is on the outside looking in because they play too many games, spiritual games that has broken too many spiritual laws. Hmm. Now this energy is trying to look you up, trying to get more info on you. For some of you, you th you're thinking this energy knows exactly where you are and what to do, yet this energy is still playing games, playing clueless to what to do. Wow. So for many of you, this energy is still obsessed and watching, knowing that they are not who they claim to be. This energy is coming out as an imposter as well as a wolf in sheep's clothing who is playing a lot of games. This is the reason they are blocked or being ignored. And I feel you know that they are curious. I feel you feel it in your bones. This is another reason why they, <laughs> they're talking about you because they can't be with you. This is someone who is trying to get the facts, but they're not coming up with anything. So, since they don't have the facts, they just make things up, which is leaving them with their head in the clouds. Never making any true changes. But for many of you, you're no longer bothered by this energy because they're no longer holding you back. You're no longer attached to this energy. Not in the way that 
you used to. Hmm. Wow. But I feel this energy could be holding on to something. This energy feels like you're moving forward. Hmm. They don't want to watch you win because they know what you've been through. But I feel in spite of your hardship, you're going to win and they're going to have to watch it. Hmm. Yeah, I sense the part that affects them the most is things are only getting better for you. Hmm. Things are only getting better. Things are only getting bi bigger. They just resent the fact that you're trying to forgive them in the process. Feeling like you will never find a way to forgive them. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay, so this energy feels like you'll never forgive him because this is past life energy. This is um, deja vu energy here from someone saying goodbye to a twin flame. So this is past life energy and this is why this energy is always feeling stuck, like they can't let go. You're unbothered because this is the energy of the past. You can see something coming. So what I'm getting here is someone's afraid because of the journey that they have taken. They know they have done too much to go back. And they're afraid you're going to hold them to it. They're going to you're going to hold them to the things they said, the things they did and the journey that they chose to take. The things that they said to be petty, especially the things that they have done just to get under your skin. These are the reasons this energy can't fully come your way without playing the game of a fool. But it's the only reason they're being blocked. For many of you, rejection is protection in this season. This is why this energy is being kept Ooh, away God. or distracted from a twin flame energy because they have failed to heal. This is someone who is just stuck. Stuck in the space of missing you. Needing you. But they are feeling like you're ignoring them. For many of you, you could also be moving in silence and it's breaking them down and breaking their heart. I feel this was a harsh ending that they know, they know they hurt you because they are equally hurt, if not more. As I said before, this is a past life connection, twin flame energy here. And there are knowing that there is a lack of forgiveness because there is a lack of effort. But I feel this energy is not in the space of trying, not in the head space of doing so. This energy is lacking courage, lacking in security. This energy is lacking a lot of things. More than you know. More than you could ever think. Wow, that is why. Bottom of the deck energy here is a false twin flame. This energy is heavily lacking because they are being false. A fake, a phony, not just with you, but with themselves. This energy barely even knows what they need or what they want to even be what you need. Yet this energy is still wanting to connect. This energy is wanting to connect within a separ separation or divide, a divorce. This is after hurting you. There could be a common law energy here. Please take it how it resonates. But this is someone who is heavily connected in a very different way than usual. This is someone who wants to start over. As I said before, this is someone who wants a fresh start. But they're hiding their true feelings. They're hiding their true feelings in silence. In silence and false apologies, yet I feel there are plenty red flags when it comes to this energy who is walking on eggshells but wanting to reach out. But I feel very soon, and I mean very soon, someone's about to make a move. <clears throat> For many of you, this has been a karmic situation, a karmic relationship. But I feel, for many of you, you feel like it's going to be a miracle to bring the two of you together because this energy is so scattered, so lost, so 
all over the place. This is someone who is very affected because they're not winning. Something is a faded connection. And this energy is definitely going through a dark night of the soul. Trying to manifest is a disaster. Everything is turning out as destruction. But this energy needs to pick up the pieces by going on a spiritual journey. But until then, this energy is just going to be obsessed. Obsessed with what they don't have or can't have. And I feel you have some type of gut feeling. A gut feeling when it comes to this energy. Where it may be. Wrong timing. Something may be wrong timing when it comes to this energy and their focus, what they are into. And I feel this phone call should be the last thing on their list. Hmm. This energy is definitely thinking about the memories, but they're still in solitude. Also dealing with some inner childhood wounds. But I also feel that ego. This ego is all over the place. It's another reason why they can't commit. Or they won't change. <clears throat> For many of you, <clears throat> you try to make a difference. <clears throat> you try to keep this energy in a solid place. But it was always a struggle. Final energy here. Spirit. Thank you. It was always a struggle. It was always a misunderstanding. This is someone who always left you with more questions than answers because they could never make a choice. They could never choose between the streets and stability. Now this energy may be jealous because you no longer believe their lies. I feel you're no longer believing their lies when it comes to a commitment or the fact that they're wanting something to be a misunderstanding. In fact, you're just wanting this energy to see their wrongs, awaken to their path and change. But I feel this energy has a long way to go because they don't even see a reason to do so. This is someone who is still walking on eggshells, thinking that something is going to just manifest and change. Yet this energy is going to have to do something the old school way. Hmm. <laughs> and repent. From their sins. I know that seems strange. But what I mean by that is. Acknowledge what they do. And change. Change their ways. Or there will be harsh consequences for it. For many of you. This energy has already experienced. This harsh consequences. But hmm, I feel they have yet to experience. The depth of what's to come. I feel this is someone who still has a chance to change. But I feel, as I said before, they're just going to have to do it the right way. For many of you, you have a good feeling when it comes to this energy. Listen to it. It won't steer you wrong because this energy is still being misled. For many of you, you have already made the choice to let go. Let go and detach from someone who is still wanting to anchor themselves but still needing to deal with the pain. I feel things are still one-sided somehow here. Something one-sided with this energy will cause something be, to be triggered with a feminine energy. This energy is all about strategy, but I feel that will me cause you to move forward of free will when it comes to a masculine energy. A masculine energy d that doesn't see their purpose. Hmm. Wow. Because this energy is all about strategy. This is why they're blocked. Blocked and confused to why. But I feel this energy is confused by their own denial. Their own lies. The fact that they are wearing a mask. And believing their own deceptions. Is the fact that they're sitting in delusion. And confusion. Three thought, three one three. And becoming crazy. Because of it. This is someone who is driving themselves mad because they can't be stable or detached from these lies. Always placing these strategy or playing from a strategic way 
will only lead them to a sense of resentment or revenge. As I said before, this is someone who is trying to come out of this space because they want a fresh start with you, but I feel this energy can only be themselves. Hmm. They're always going to fall back into their childish ways until this energy chooses to grow up and mature and take the consequences for their actions. They will always fall into these dark ways, these selfish ways of manipulation, distraction, and destruction. This is someone who is going to find themselves in a space of guilt if they don't get things right. Because this energy knows they brought you pain. They know they hurt you. Yet this energy needs to do more than create a diversion or beg for forgiveness. This energy needs to validate how they disrespected the connection. Or the fact that something unplanned is about to come their way. Someone knows something. Something that they didn't expect to happen is very, it's not going anywhere. They need to talk about it. This is something they need to tell you, but someone is holding it back. For many of you, you have no clue what this is, and for others, you have you know exactly what it is, and you really don't want to know. You don't need to know. This energy needs to just get it right, make some changes, because whatever this is is very triggering. There is unconditional love, but I feel there is also distance and guilt. But I feel something is about to happen in divine timing, as I said before. Something is about to happen very soon. Whether this is a connection or someone reaching out or coming in, something is about to take place that changes a lot of things. A lot of perspectives and emotions. However, truthfully, I think you're just trying to heal from this, even though this energy is thinking that you're being cold-hearted and ruthless, you're not. You're trying to deal. You're trying to heal and understand what you've been through, and you just don't need them getting in the way of that. You don't need them getting in the way of your progress, and this is why something just might be the wrong time. I sense it's nothing personal, yet, unlike them, you've taken the time to learn from your mistakes, and they need to focus on their own path, because then, and only then, they will be able to focus on healthy ways of communicating or letting go. I feel until this energy finds a way to grow and be more mature about situations and communication, something would be pointless hmm. until they choose to change. Until they choose to change and fully understand why they do the things they do, I feel this energy is very reckless and dangerous to anyone who chooses to love them. Now I feel this energy's guilt. Their guilt is truly stemming from the fact that you, you know the truth. They're just wishing they didn't have to damage what they had with you for you to see their truth. For many of you, the damage they caused had to happen though. I know it's harsh to say, but I feel it had to happen. Otherwise, you would have never walked away from this. You would never give up in a situation like this. Your heart is too big. Yet, this energy wasn't strong enough. This energy wasn't ready for you. Not yet. And I feel for many of you, there is a very big difference in giving up and realizing and when you've had enough. Because your journey will be bigger and better without them. Especially if they can't find the time to finally get it right. Because it will be their loss, not yours. 
I hope you guys have enjoyed the reading and has gained some food for thought. If so, let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. I hope to see you again, guys. Bye.